Okay. Woo. Sorry, everybody. Technology, we had a glitch. So, like using any new technology, you go back to old technology that works. And that means it's gonna be one of those days. Looks like we're climbing a mountain right now because the camera's all shaky. Okay, anyways. Uh oh, there's my shirt. Uh here I am. It's cat day, everybody, and that means we are talking about cats. Uh, what, waffles? Waffles? We're talking about cats. Where are you? Waffles? Waffles? I'm right here! Oh, you know, it's just like a cat. Yeah, because I am a cat. Did you know that I am a cat? I'm a cat. I'm a cat. I'm a cat. You're a very good cat. You're a cat astronaut. That means you're a cat in space. Is that true? Yes, it's very true. I am a cat doing things that cats cannot. Like go to space and fix satellites and eat 64 cans of tuna in a single day. Is that your record? Yes, 64 cans is my record. Wow, is that a uh, is that a world record or something like that? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. I think the world record is 65. It's just one more can. Yeah, one more can and I'm the world champ. I'm the champ, I'm gonna be the champ. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, well, today is cat day, and let's go ahead and flip down to our drawing table, and uh, we are going to do some cat stuff. Um, okay, you can see our table has all the cats laid out on it. Waffles, I'm going to put you over in Cat Central over here. Oh, thanks. That's great. Um, and then we're going to move some lights. Yeah, that tech, that tech, technology really throws you off sometimes. If you're, if you're not careful, be careful around technology. Um, okay, so here we go. We got, uh, we got our cats. Let's move these cats out of the way. Scram, cats! Now scram. Okay. Well, so I, uh, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a author and an illustrator, uh, I'm a, uh, I have books. What I'm actually known for is called Catstronauts. Um, it's a series, it's all about these cats. Oh, look, there's waffles. Cats that go into space and they do crazy things and they help the world. It's very exciting. Uh, and uh, yeah, and so this is, this is my book series. Um, but before that, before this book became a series, um, it started, remember we talked about sketchbooks as great places for you to hold your drawings and where you can come back to it? Well, I just want to show you that. Before it became a book, doodle of this cat eating a bag of kitty treats. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. I really like this. And then I went ahead and I drew another one. I had so much fun drawing it. And, uh, and I just love this character and I love this, you know, drawing these characters. And, you know, lo and behold, the next day I went out and I started drawing a cat on the moon. And I just kept drawing these cats over and over and over and over again, uh, you know, kind of throughout my sketchbook. And then eventually I had so many cat drawings that I thought, okay, well, I got to do something with these drawings. I got to do, I can't just like hold on to them. So uh, I decided, cats, 
uh, I decided that I was going to make a comic with them. I was going to make one of those mini comics. And I have here with me the very first Catstronaut comic ever. And I don't think, you know, some people have seen this way, you know, this is like six years old now at this point. People have seen this, but I don't know if I've actually read it out loud. So I am going to read today the first ever Catstronauts comics. It's called Catstronauts in Space. And it doesn't even have, like, the cats don't even have names. It's cool. It has just cats. There's a cool pattern and stuff. And then we have Castronaut HQ. It says they're all walking around, all the science cats. You can see the space shuttle in the background. It says, Castronauts, you are needed. The most important satellite ever requires urgent repair. And they're all like, oh no, we're needed, we're needed. You can see there's, they're just playing tic-tac-toe on their fancy computer. This cat says, let's suit up. Put on their, take off their jumpsuits, put on their spacesuits. They head out to the space shuttle. Catstronauts, prepare for launch. They're all sitting in their chairs. And then this one says, Prepare for lunch. That's got a big old fish. Mmm, yum. Tongue hanging out. Looking really hungry. And then. <laughs> they went into space. Uh, and then in Mission Control, all the science cats are hanging out. And the cats are not say, Mission Control. Uh, mission control, we are in orbit. And then on the space shuttle, you hear mission control say, uh, copy that, begin the repair sequence. And this cat says, okay team, let's do it. And they go to the airlock. And they head out into space. They tumble out like tumble bumbles. And then they go up to what they need to fix. Mission Control, we are in position. This is the most important satellite ever. And look what kind of satellite it is. A fish finder. <laughs> so they gotta repair the fish finder satellite. <laughs> All right. Uh, and they say, Mission Control, we are in position. And then Mission Control says, copy that, releasing the repair cable. <laughs> The bay doors up. They send the ball of yarn out, and the ball of yarn floats away into space to the world's most important satellite. The astronauts say, "Roger, we have visual contact." And look at this! What a bunch of cats! They just start playing with the yarn and you know, batting it around with their little cat paws. And this one says, quit messing around and let's get to work. And then quickly enough, I think we're finished. And they're all smiling. Now look at their handy little work. Look what they did. They just tied the satellite back together with a whole bunch of yarn. And then in Mission Control, this science cat says, Roger that, let's bring you back home. <sighs> When the astronauts come in, gliding in on their space shuttle. Castronauts, prepare for landing. They're coming into their runway there by Cats of HQ. And then it says, National Heroes. And they're getting out of their space shuttle and it says, Mission accomplished. And they're walking and waving, and people are taking pictures. And there's a news camera, and all these science cats are so happy. And that was it. That's it. That was the first ever Castronauts comic. So just kind of fun, a fun little story. Um, and just, you know, just a silly joke. And I'll, I'll say, I'll tell you behind the scenes, this is what started the whole comic. The whole thing was Castronauts prepare for launch and then prepare for lunch. This was the joke that started the whole thing. Okay, cool. That's cat day. Or the, the Cashew Nuts comic. So, for Cat Day, because we talked about 
the first Cash Announce comic everywhere. Let's go ahead and start talking about... Um, do, 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 do. We're going to draw a cat. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, what cat should we draw? First of all, let's figure out what cat should we draw. Well, to figure that out, let's consult the complete cat breed book. <laughs> this is a book that was given me uh, by my brother when I started working on the Castronaut stories. And it's, it's become really fun because look at this, we can choose the right cat. So let's go ahead and find a fun cat to draw and we'll, we're gonna turn that cat into a castronaut drawing. So I think we should go with this one, the Persian Golden. All right, this is awesome. This is gonna be really fun. All right, let me put the Persian Golden up here just so that we have it, it can be a reference. And we're gonna turn this cat into the style of the Castronauts. So first thing we're gonna do, first thing we need to do, just like we do in every drawing, is we need to figure out where our drawing is gonna be on the page. So I'm gonna give myself a little more room to draw because I like to have a little room this cat over. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's figure out where our cat is gonna be on the page. And I'm gonna do that first by just drawing a potato. Go ahead and draw a potato. Right in the middle. This is our figure. Awesome. And then about a third of the way down this potato, we're gonna make a line. And then we're gonna add two taco chips to the top. And then we're gonna add some noodles to the sides. And then we're gonna add some noodles down here and here. And then I'm gonna go back over my potato and kind of make it a little more lumpy. You can kind of see this cat starting to take shape. And then we're gonna add our tail by adding the spaghetti noodle coming off of that. Okay, now let's go ahead and figure out how to turn this potato with uh, taco chips on top into this Persian golden. So. Our Persian Golden, let's get a closer look of this Persian Golden. Look at that. It is a big furry cat. There is fur everywhere. So let's go ahead and if we think of this fur as a shape, look at that big furry face. If we think of this fur as a shape, you can kind of figure out, you know, the shape, it kind of looks like an oval. So let's go ahead and think about those whiskers as an oval. And we'll just draw an oval over all of it. Remember, it looks our drawing looks really messy right now, but we're gonna clean that up when we start using our pens. Okay, and then our little nose. Let's go ahead and put our little nose here. And this Persian has big eyes. So let's go ahead and add some big eyes, our little triangle nose. And it's got very furry ears. It was kind of like fur coming out of the ears. So we'll add some fur coming off. This is gonna be fun. And you can kind of start on this edges. See how I'm drawing these little jaggedy edge things? This is kind of starting to figure out where that fur is. Okay. I think I got enough. Oh, let's go ahead and draw where our mouth is gonna be. Here's our little cat mouth. Okay, let's go ahead and start, let's grab our pen, and let's go ahead and start turning this into our big Persian. So, I'm gonna start with the nose. I'm gonna draw that little triangle. And I'm gonna go down, and across, and across. And then, Here's my eyeballs, big eyeballs. I kind of want them bigger. And you see how I'm leaving that little white speck there? That's kind of like you can see on the on the picture of the cat. 
There, there is, you know, the iris. I think it's called the iris. That's the, like the colored part of the eyeball. So I'm gonna leave that little white speck because that's that little colored part of the eyeball. I like it. Okay, now where this big oval is, where we started doing that, I'm gonna do fur. And I'm doing fur just kind of like how we made those movement lines yesterday with the donut. Just kind of doing these quick little dashes. And I'm gonna start back over on the other side, these fur lines. Okay, then I'm gonna go up to my ears. And I'm gonna do the same thing off the side of the ear. <laughs> this cat is so furry. <laughs> Okay, and then let's go ahead and add some fur on top. You can kind of see how I, I'm following that pencil line, but I'm doing quick little dashes just to kind of make it look like it's, you know, fluffy and everything like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add, we're gonna go to our body. And because our cat is so fluffy, we're gonna continue that same method of fur all the way around it. But I wanna add, a couple things right before we do it. I'm gonna go back to my pencil. I'm gonna add where the paws are. And I'm gonna add these little mittens where the paws are. And then these little boots where the feet are gonna be. And then we're gonna add fur to everything. Okay, here we go. Pen time. What time is it? It's pen time! Yeah! All right, let's go ahead and draw. This cat fur in, these furry arms. You can see how I'm doing quick little strokes with my pen, just to kind of have that fur go. And then I get to my paw. I'm gonna go one, two, three. And then I'm gonna go over to this arm. I guess it's a leg on a cat. I'm gonna go to this leg, because they have four legs, they don't have four arms. If, here's the thing, here's here's a real question. <laughs> okay, if a cat has four legs and an octopus has eight arms, if we called a cat's legs its arms, it would have four arms. Would a cat be half octopus? Uh, I don't know, just a question for today. It's Friday, it's a big question day. So I'm adding my fur down. See, I'm doing these quick little lines. I'm going all the way down to my foot. And then I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna add one, two, three lines for that paw. And I'm gonna do my fur. And then I'm gonna go over here. Fur, 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 fur. One, two, three toes on that paw. Straight line across, and I'm gonna go fur, 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 fur. Fur, 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 fur. Meow. Well, it's cat day. It's cat day. Let's every, everybody, let's do a big meow. Ready? Meow. All right, whoo, glad we got that out of our system. All right, keeping our fur going around. This is looking like a really fluffy kitty. Okay, now we just have our tail to do. And let's look at this. Look at this big, beautiful, bushy, furry tail. So we need our tail. This little spaghetti noodle needs to be as furry as possible. So we're gonna do big fur lines. And we're, see how I'm not touching the spaghetti noodle at all that I drew with my pencil? I'm just going around it and I'm just doing these big furry lines all the way around it. Make it the furriest cat in the world. I think maybe I'm just with no context, I'm gonna go ahead and say the Persian Golden might be the furriest cat in the world. I don't know, prove me, prove me wrong, world. Um, okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some fur to the inside of our kitty. And we can do like, if our, see how this, this cat has like different colors here and here, you know, just, it's almost like little stripes or something. 
Maybe there's some more fur there. You can add little furry stripes here, here. Okay, we're gonna add some more fur. We forgot our whiskers. We gotta do our whiskers. Okay, the whiskers are coming right out of those two little uh, doodads. Do, doodads, I am so technical with these cats. The cheekies, I guess, the cheeks right under the nose. That's where the whiskers are coming out. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna do long lines. Coming from there. All right, and then let's go ahead and add some more fluff up here, up here. Not much, you don't wanna, cause you don't wanna take away from the face cause your face is so cute and happy on this drawing. You don't wanna take away from that. But you do wanna let people know that it is furry. I am furry. Okay, and one more, ready? One more right here, boop. I think that's good. What do you think? You think it looks good? Should we do one more here? Boop. Maybe that one needs to be a little bigger. Okay, then let's go ahead and add, we're gonna add our shading below it. Our little, our little uh, shadow. So we're gonna just draw like a, a puddle underneath. Now we're gonna color that in. Oh, my head's in the way, whoops. I wish I had a warning light. Head in the way, get out of the shot. Can you guys see? Can you, is my head in the way? Yeah, all right, it is, it was, that was a joke. Uh, okay, cool. And then we have, this is it. This is our big furry Persian golden. Okay, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> Just like, I, I can't tell the difference. Let's ask Waffles. Waffles, can you tell the difference between our two cats that we drew? Hmm. Let's see here. Um, I think this cat owes me five dollars. And uh, oh, I haven't met you yet. Well, uh, Waffles, I'm glad we'll get your five dollars back. Um, never loan a cat money for cat. Uh, and let's go ahead and sign our artwork right at the bottom, like we do. D. Brockington. And I hope you're signing your own name. If you're signing, if you've been signing my name this whole time, that would be pretty funny. Um, that'd be very funny. You can be like, look at this Drew Brockington that I just drew. Uh, but yeah, please sign your own name because you drew it. This is your drawing. Uh, make sure you put it in your sketchbook or wherever you want to keep it. Um, and then once again, I will be posting this drawing to Instagram. So if you'd like a chance to win this drawing and have it mailed to your home, um, then uh, yeah, comment in Instagram. I'll post uh, or I'll, I'll put the thing down where to find it uh, at, in a little bit. Um, and, and that will be fun. Uh, and then uh, also, oh yeah, let's just do that right now. Uh, so yeah, you can find Instagram. It's at the Barack art. It's on Instagram. Uh, I'll be posting this drawing and you can, uh, yeah, you can find it there. Just comment for a chance to win. Uh, you can, uh, if you want to send me your pictures, you can tag me in Instagram or Twitter. It's the same name at the Brock art for both of those. That would be, that would be really cool. Uh, speaking of sending me your pictures, I got two pictures to share from yesterday. Uh, from our donut drawing, this is uh, a donut, a cool donut on a skateboard with a top hat. He is so cool. Uh, and this is by Simon. Uh, so that is so cool, Simon. And this is a donut go nuts by Marcy. And I just want to share, look at all these delicious sprinkles that Marcy put all over her drawing. And then this is such a cool skateboard. Um, so yeah, please send me your, if you want to send me your drawings, I am happy to share them on the air. You kids, I've, every drawing that I've seen on, um, that I've been tagged in or anything on the socials has been awesome. Uh, and it's so cool to see what you're coming up with. Um, and also full disclosure, these are my kids. My kids drew these, therefore it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you feel like mailing me your drawings, uh, here's the snail mail address once more, uh, PO box 17479, Minneapolis, Minnesota 
554179998. There's a little snail post office person. Um, so yeah, you can find it there. Uh, otherwise, let's talk about next week. Next week, we're going to be using different materials, drawing with different materials. So we're going to be using some crayons. We're going to be using some markers. We're going to be using some colored pencils. And then we might get a little wacky. We might draw with some sticks. Who knows? Who knows what's in store for us next week? Um, but once again, thank you so much for tuning in uh, this week. This has been our first week of live stream, and it's been awesome. And I am so excited to do more fun stuff together with you next week. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for us. Uh, say goodbye, Waffles. Goodbye, Waffles. All right. Uh, have waffles with it one click or two click one click okay let's try to click it click